In our previous video, we have seen that we created a class JWT auth converter so that whatever the roles are present within the access token, which is being sent by the key cloak are being converted to the Spring Boot or the OAuth2 resource specific format. Since I don't want to do this, we need to first understand why did we do this and can we achieve this without writing the explicit class. So to understand that, let's see what was required by the JWT authentication converter. The default JWT authentication converter was trying to read from the scope property, but our property here is dream access. Can we use this within the JWT's authentication converters? That is instead of giving scope or SCP as the property from which the roles needs to be read, we can give this dream access. But the problem here is that the roles needs to be either separated with the space or should be a list of string. Although the object roles has the list of strings, but if we give this ream access, it is an object and hence this is not possible. So for this, what we need to do, we need to see if we can add another property within the access token, which contains array of these roles. So that is one thing what we need to see. And the second thing is, we do not want the roles to be prepended with this scope. If we achieve these two things, then everything should be well and good. Let's see if we can add another property within the access token, which contains these array of roles. Let's go to the key cloak here in our client and in the client scopes. This is our default client scope. You have already seen these kind of things which we did in our previous videos. I think we added the address within the access token. Similarly, we will configure this new mapper. We are not going to use the predefined mapper. Instead, we'll use this new mapper. And here, if you see, there is a mapper for user rim role. I'll select this and the name I want to give it is roles and since it is not a string but the array of string multi-valued should be true i don't want to add any prefix for the rim role since we want to get rid of that so i don't want to add any of this the token claim name will also be roles in a sense when the key clock adds this property the name within the key clock's access token will be roles and i want it to be in the access token save so these roles should be going into the access token let's see within the access token if we get these roles token for amar itself i will generate use this gwt and paste you now see that there is another property added and this property has all of the roles from the ream roles. You can also add the resource access roles as well in this. But since we are using the ream roles, we'll concentrate on the ream roles. Now that we got the roles in the access token, we need to tell the Spring Boot application that read the roles from this property and do not keep any prefix to that. For that, what I'm going to do is I will create the bean of this JWT authentication converter. As you already know, this is our converter, the default converter, which is being added by the JWT. I have removed these configurations as well. Instead of adding our own auth converter, I am using this default configuration itself within the JWT. If you see here, I am creating JWT granted authorities converter and this converter itself will have those two properties. The default value for this prefix was scope. I do not want to have anything and hence empty. And the authorities claim name, the default values were either scope or SCP. Instead of that, I am giving it as roles and creating a bean. I'm not removing this since 
our configuration is on method level security and this method level security uses default method security expression handler and this default method security expression handler was adding the prefix of role underscore and that's the reason we had added this if you remember it from the previous video now we have removed the dependency of creating the converter by ourselves and instead we added the configurations both in the spring boot application as well as in the key cloak here we are using the spring boot 3 let me start the server now that the server has started so the token for amar was already generated let me generate the token again amar and i'm using this so instead of the price of 170 i am giving the price of 180 change the token and so the value for this item has been updated to 180 you can also see here now it's 180 and for the negative case i am going to get the token for suresh and so he doesn't have the access the reason being the role owner needs to be present for the accessor that was it for this video before going to the key clock specific library usage what i want to do is i want to get rid of writing all of these REST APIs in the Postman. As you have seen, we have written all of these REST APIs in the Postman itself. And I'm a lazy guy. I don't want to do all of this. Can we do it within the Spring Boot application? Yes, we can. We can do this by using the library that is provided for Swagger UI. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.